The historic impeachment trial of Attorney General Ken Paxton begins on Tuesday, and it has a lot of moving parts to it. Our political reporter, Jack Fink, walks us through some of the rules and how it's all expected to play out. Two days after the Texas House overwhelmingly voted to impeach Attorney General Ken Paxton, House impeachment managers formally delivered the 20 articles against him to the Texas Senate. It is in the Senate chamber where the trial will take place, and Paxton will ultimately learn whether he's convicted and permanently removed from his position or acquitted and can keep his job. First, let's take a look at some of the 31 rules in place approved by the senators who will be the jurors deciding Paxton's fate. And I remember learning the rule One rule story. that made national headlines involves Ken Paxton's wife, Senator Angela Paxton, who represents McKinney. Senators found Mrs. Paxton has a conflict in the case and as a result is not allowed to be an active juror in the case. David Cole, an appellate attorney in Dallas, is not involved in the impeachment. She is not allowed to vote on any matter, so not just the ultimate vote, but any procedural point that comes up along the way. Even so, her position as a state senator could become very helpful to her husband's defense. By the numbers, the state constitution says two-thirds of the senators are needed to convict the attorney general. Because Mrs. Paxton can't vote, there will only be 30 senators who can decide the attorney general's future. But Mrs. Paxton is still required to attend the trial, so all 31 senators will be counted, and that raises the two-thirds threshold needed to convict Paxton from 20 to 21. The higher the threshold, the harder it gets, and sometimes one vote is all the difference in a case. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick will preside over the trial like a judge. He will decide on a number of issues during the trial. At the beginning, Paxton or his attorney will have to plead on each article of impeachment. While experts say impeachment is purely political, the trial will look a lot like a court case. The House Board of Managers or their lawyers who are prosecuting the case will make an opening statement and Paxton's lawyers can make theirs right after that or when they present their own case after prosecutors finish theirs. Each can cross-examine witnesses. The trial will be streamed and open for the public to see. But senators, who are the jurors, will deliberate in private. The senators will vote on each article of impeachment against Paxton separately, and they will do so publicly in the chamber, standing up when they're called to say how they will vote. The House impeachment managers must prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. One major rule is the gag order imposed by the lieutenant governor to prevent statements that could prejudice the jury. It covers Paxton and his lawyers and the House impeachment managers and their attorneys, along with lawmakers and potential witnesses. Jack Fink, CBS News, Texas. Well, CBS News Texas has every angle covered of this historic impeachment trial. You can watch for live reports from Austin with our Doug Dunbar, Jack Fink, and Andrea Lucia. We will have additional coverage at CBSNewsTexas.com. And you can watch the trial live beginning Tuesday morning on our CBS News Texas YouTube channel.